Welcome to the Deep Blue Sea, where danger lurks around every corner. From venomous predators to lightning-fast hunters, the ocean's home to some of the most fearsome creatures on the planet. The Striped Surgeon Fish. Striped Surgeon Fish are primarily found in Indian and Pacific Oceans, from East Africa to the Great Barrier Reef, Japan, Polynesia, and Hawaii. They love shallow water and spend all their lives in reefs just a few meters deep on the water's surface. Now, they aren't particularly aggressive, but will be very territorial, especially when other fish come visiting unannounced. They do have some pointy bits that you have to be wary of, though, but more on that later. Humans, though, they pretty much swim away on sight, but there will be a few gutsy ones that will stand their ground. Now, getting back to its pointy bits. Hidden in its tail fin, quite in plain sight actually, are a series of sharp forward pointing spines called the caudal penduncle. These sharp spines are used to defense against predators, and they do a pretty good job of it. They're razor sharp, and aside from puncturing, they can even effectively lacerate flesh. That said, if you're the type of person who immediately grabs any fish that you see, you should probably keep your hands to yourself with this one. The Goonch Catfish Heard about the Kelly River Goonch attacks? Sounds like the title of a pretty crappy horror movie, but it was allegedly something that really happened. Story goes that between 1998 and 2007, a series of horrible attacks happened to people who were swimming in the Kali River. This is a body of water that intersects both India and Nepal. Some of these stories include that of a 17-year-old boy that was dragged by a creature underwater, as well as of another younger boy which was pulled underwater right in front of his father. Both bodies were said to have never been recovered. And the culprit? Well, people pointed their fingers toward the large and perennially angry Goonch Catfish. Also called the Giant Devil Catfish, Goonch Catfish regularly swim around in the Kali River. And these guys are big, often growing up to 2 meters in length on the reg. These voracious eaters have large mouths and usually dine on smaller fish, crustaceans, amphibians, and various species of invertebrates. Their size alone makes them the perfect suspect for these series of river attacks. But although it wasn't conclusively proven, people are still wary of this clearly dangerous fish. They're safe and sorry, I guess. Bull Shark May not be the biggest and baddest of sharks, but bull sharks are definitely one of the most dangerous shark species out there. Behind those rows of extremely sharp teeth is a massive bite force of 5,914 newtons. Pretty much enough to snap human bones like twigs. And when it comes to attacking humans, they're pretty much third on the list, just behind great whites and tiger sharks. Needless to say, they're extremely aggressive. And the fact that they tend to live near high population areas doesn't help as well. Fatal attacks are few and far between, though. First confirmed human casualty from a bull shark attack happened in New Jersey in 1916. And since then, there's only been about 117 recorded human fatalities to date. They do attack an average of 16 people every year in the US, so the low number of fatalities is really quite surprising. And hey, here's a fun fact for you. It's the 1960 Jersey Shore shark attacks that was actually what inspired Peter Benchley to write his novel Jaws. Now you know. Anyways, back to the bull sharks. One thing that I think makes these sharks so dangerous is the fact that they swim up rivers, meaning they regularly venture into human territory. Brackish and fresh water are no problem to them. In fact, most bull shark attacks happen in fresh or brackish water. And all the while, you thought it was safe to swim in rivers. Red Lionfish What makes a fish dangerous? Cutting teeth, piercing spines, voracious appetite? Well, yeah, to all three, but there is one thing that people seem to forget. Toxic venom. And when talking about venomous fish, the red lionfish is always in the convo. They don't have the most toxic venom in fish and are rarely fatal, but their venom causes a serious amount of pain, so getting anywhere near them still isn't a good idea. The venom is delivered via an array of up to 18 needle-like dorsal fin that is mainly used for defense. Red lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific region, but have become an invasive species in the Caribbean Sea, as well as along the east coast of the US and the East Mediterranean. Their populations become so out of control, these fish are now being killed on sight. Great Barracuda the Great Barracuda is like the James Bond of the ocean, sleek, fast, and deadly. With its sharp eyes and nose, it can sniff out prey from miles away. And when it's time to strike, this fishy torpedo zooms in and BAM! Powerful jaws jump down, slicing through even the biggest fish. That slice, by the way, is like a hot knife through butter. No wonder this predator's at the top of the food chain. Don't worry though, these guys don't usually go after humans. They're just curious creatures who like to follow snorkelers and divers around. Sometimes they'll try to steal a fish from a spear fisherman or mistake a shiny object for a tasty snack. But hey, who hasn't accidentally bitten into some that wasn't food? Just be careful not to wave your fingers around like a tasty fish treat and you should be fine. 
In fact, barracudas are pretty fascinating creatures. Jaws are so strong and their teeth are so sharp they can literally slice fish in half when they attack. It's like having a built-in pair of scissors in their mouth. Next time you're swimming in the ocean and see one of these guys trailing you, don't panic. Just remember they're more interested in fish than fingers. The Moray Eel With its snake-like body, protruding snout, and wide jaws, the Moray Eel is a creature that commands respect. At up to 8 feet long, this fish is not something to be taken lightly. And with its razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws, it's easy to see why it has a reputation for being dangerous. However, it's not just their appearance that make moray eels so fearsome. A bite from one of these creatures can leave a ragged wound that's prone to infection from the bacteria inside their mouths. And once they've got a grip on something, they're not likely to let go easily. Moray eels are creatures of the night, hiding in crevices and holes during the day and then coming out to hunt when the sun goes down. Really, they'll eat just about anything they can catch. So if you're diving, it's best not to go sticking your hand into any dark holes. Just let these guys do their thing and enjoy watching them from a safe distance. Stingray Stingrays may not be the first creatures that come to mind when you think of deadly ocean animals, but these pancake-like fish are true killers. These fly fish come equipped with a long, whip-like tail tipped with one or more barbed spines, each containing venom. And if you're unlucky enough to get stung, you'll feel it. Pain is immediate and severe. It's like getting a really bad sting, but in the ocean. Here's the thing, stingrays aren't out to get you though. They're not swimming around looking for people to sting. Most things happen when a diver accidentally steps on one, which is pretty easy to do since they like to hang out half buried on the ocean floor. So if you're diving in an area where stingrays are known to live, be sure to watch your step. It's like playing a game of don't step on the pancake fish, and if you do get stung, seek medical help as soon as possible. While most things aren't life-threatening, they can be incredibly painful, and in some cases, even fatal. Just ask Steve Irwin, sadly. Next time you're diving in Stingray Country, remember to tread carefully and give these creatures the respect they deserve. After all, nobody wants to ruin a good dive with a painful Stingray surprise. Stargazer Stargazers may look like they're constantly shocked by something with their upturned faces and wide eyes, but these fish are no laughing matter. They come equipped with a triple threat of deadly abilities, vacuuming up prey, electrocuting enemies, and delivering venom. It's no wonder they've earned the nickname the meanest thing in creation. Despite their fearsome reps, stargazers are masters of disguise. They spend most of their time buried in the sand, using their pectoral fins like little shovels to dig themselves in. Only their eyes and mouths are visible, giving them the perfect vantage point to watch for unsuspecting prey. And if something does try to mess with them, stargazers have a few tricks up their sleeves. They've got two large spines on their backs that can inject venom into attackers, and if that don't work, they can always fall back on their ability to produce electricity. So don't judge a book by its cover. These fish may look silly, but they're not to be underestimated. Great White Shark Powerful, dangerous, just plain cool, that's the Great White for you. These fish are the largest predatory fish on Earth, growing up to 20 feet long and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. And with their rows of serrated teeth and exceptional sense of smell, they're not to be trifled with. Here's the thing, though. Great Whites aren't out to get you. Yeah, they're responsible for a good chunk of the shark attacks that happen each year, but most of the attacks aren't fatal. Great Whites are naturally curious, and creatures will often sample bite before releasing their targets. So if you do get bitten, chances are it was just a case of mistaken identity. Kinda need stitches, though. Gray Whites are actually pretty fascinating creatures. They can swim at speeds of up to 15 miles an hour and can even reach out of water like whales when attacking prey from underneath. Their jaws are lined with up to 300 serrated triangular teeth arranged in several rows, making them formidable predators. So next time you're swimming in an area where Great Whites are known to live, remember to be cautious and give these creatures the respect they deserve. After all, not every day that you get to share the ocean with one of nature's most dangerous predators. The Stonefish the stonefish may not look like much, but with its ability to blend in with its surroundings so well that you might not even see it was right in front of you, it's pretty dangerous. Don't be fooled, a little fish packs a big punch. It's considered to be the deadliest venomous fish in the ocean, with a toxin so powerful it can cause excruciating pain, a temporary paralysis, and of course, stop your heart. However, they don't really swim around and poison every creature that they see. In fact, they only use their venom as a defensive mechanism when they feel threatened. So if you do get stung, chances are it's because you accidentally stepped on one. Stonefish may be small, growing only a few inches long, but they're living proof that size isn't everything. Their venom is incredibly potent and can be lethal if not treated quickly. Fortunately, there's an anti-venom available, but it won't do you much good if you're diving alone with no one to help you. See you all next time!